mate. Um, yeah, well, what can I say? Beautiful weather in Queensland, so heading over the border today, I hope. That's the plan. I'm gonna head down towards Tenerfield area. I'm um, gonna check out a few loops through there. I've got some GPX files in here that I'm just gonna use as a bit of direction. Um, I have got them offline as well, so if I do get lost, I can get back into there. Um, I've signed into Follow Me, which is an app, so my wifey can monitor me, keep an eye on me, see where I'm at. I've given a bit of an idea of where I'm going, um, but the Follow Me app will work on GPS, so yeah, if you don't have any mobile service, it uh, works really well. So anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy these next couple of days. Um, thanks for coming along. I, I hope you enjoy it. Just going to find some uh, some dirt, go through some national parks, check it all out. There's going to be a fair bit of black stuff, I guess, um, which I enjoy too. Uh, I've set the bike really up for touring at the moment, so there won't be any sort of motocross action in the single trails today or tomorrow. But yeah, just going to get out there, uh, relax and just enjoy the environment. All right, let's get on the road. We've just come through Ripley now. Gonna head down towards Bow Desert and then across the Stanthorpe and then down, yeah, Kira Lee, I think it's the campground I'm staying at tonight. I'm sort of just gonna wing it. But yeah, enjoy this and we'll see you there. All right guys, let's do it. All right, so, it'll take long to get into it. Yep. on Google Maps on the satellite image and it's hard to determine if it's tar or if it's dirt but yeah big shout out to Trev too um, thanks for sending the GPX file too man I really appreciate it and in saying that too like if anyone needs one you know part of the, the comments just you know show me a shout out and I'll send you the GPX file and you can do this route as well but there's heaps there's heaps of stuff in here um, yeah, it's pretty good. So John Hudson does a fair bit of riding out through here as well. He does adventure trips out here and I've got one of his files on here as well. So legend guy. Um, yeah, if you ever want to get on a good adventure ride, go with that group. They're awesome to go with. Um, I did ask a couple of guys to come on this trip, but everyone's just time poor. So, and I completely understand that because, you know, sometimes People ask me to go out for a ride and I just can't do it and I really want to. But days like this where I'm, I've sort of got my mindset where I want to go to and what I want to do so I can go at my own pace. I'm sort of not dragging the chain for anyone or I'm not, you know, waiting for anyone. So it's good I can just enjoy my ride and um, yeah, it's like an outlet for me, I guess. So yeah, it's good. But yeah, pretty much, yeah, just a bit of an insight um, just finished all the renos at home so the house is 100% uh, complete the outside still needs a bit of work but if you want to check out Unleash renovations on Facebook there's still a bit more work to do so I've got probably another year's work worth of work um, but yeah this is this is my baby like I take the tanner out when I can and it's it's been a long time coming since um, I've been out camping, so especially by myself, I guess, for an overnighter. Maybe two overnights, I don't know yet. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this scenery. It's pretty cool out here. I haven't been down this way yet, so... Yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll shut up now and I'll do some riding and um, hope you enjoy this. Looks pretty cool. All right, let's do it. Yeah.
this way, the council must be working out here. So yeah, like I said earlier guys, I set the bike up for a little bit of touring, so obviously on the compression and dampening with the rear shock. Um, I got MPE to set it all up, so it's pretty easy, you just dial it in a little harder on the rear because I got an extra probably 20 kilos on the back with the camper gear and some clothes and food and all that and it just makes the bike settle a lot better. Um, it's enjoyable to ride this bike and everyone raves how good they are and I'll tell you what, they really really are, you know, I don't have to really talk it up, there's enough guys out there and know how good they are. But just the lineal power, like, you can just turn it on and she just, yeah, she just, just goes. Yeah, I love it. Oh, these roads are just outstanding. You. I am going to get one of them dongles. I think it's, there's a company, LSK Tech, I think they're called, and they do a wiring loom. And they put a resistor in for your ABS so you can actually turn it off on the fly. So, because you've got to obviously stop the bike. But I do like a little bit of ABS, especially if the roads are like this and just it just pulls you back a little bit too. So I don't have to go too crazy. Uh, well, the Logan Council uh, do a good job with the grading. Must have been pretty rough a while back. Well, they've only got an old H. Yeah, buddy. An old 12 footer. Get back to work, boys. Smoke goes over. Yeah, they've got the old scraper going. Might be doing the highway up. Where's this taking us out to Stan Talk Highway, I think? I mm, wonder if the road went that way. <laughs> Not much signage with their TGSs, I guess. Nah, it's in the country now. So detour here, it says I'm going to have to go right, so I'm going to do what my GPS says. I don't need to go there. The anyway. It's been my day today. Sorry about the wind, I'd have my boys rub in. I, mean, I hope you can hear it clearly, but yeah. It's just enjoyable out here, it's very nice. Perfect weather for riding. Yeah, so it's pretty much 50-50 so far on the dirt tracks and the and the black top so yeah it's it's pretty good very happy with the, the tire selection I did um, yeah I just don't think my front motocross tire would have cut out for a trip like this yeah they would have uh, been pretty disastrous it's not really rated for speed but yeah, the Tenere, when you're in single trails or doing um, a lot of riding that I actually do, um, definitely the, I think it's the five star Michelin I found is the best one, works really well. Again, they're not designed to do that, but that's what I use it for. A lot of single trails and enduro loops and that, you know, just always pushing that envelope. Probably getting a bit too bloody old for this shit now, but why not? Just keep doing it while I can do it. <laughs> hey! Alrighty. Alright, we're full on the GPS. It's giving us all the direction where we got to keep going, so it's good. A little bit of blacktop. Back under me favourite. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, fire up in the hills there. 
Yeah, right, that's why um, yeah, there's a lot of smoke haze around. Oh, shit, there's more up there too. Oh, I might have to be careful up here. I didn't see any fire reports on me map. Didn't know. I guess I probably didn't click the notifications. Yeah. All right, get out of the road there, roast beef. Born. You ain't gonna move, are ya? You can see why the cows hang around here because all that nice fresh water. And they got plenty of feed here too. Yeah, she's been a pretty good wet winter, I guess. Especially down this way and I've never been down here, so... I know up my way, you know, you get that nice winter rain it's bloody beautiful keeps the dust down too it's good i bet you there's a bit of history about that old cabin because we're in the middle of fucking nowhere and that is cool yeah it's worth just coming have a look you know like it could be it's on stump so it'd have to be over 100 years old well uh, take it back at the quarry on it so let's just say 80 but that's cool looks like it's got an old stove there or something Anyway, it's private property. Can't go in there, but it's worth having a look, eh, when you're out here. Like, just have a look at cool things like that. So, yeah. Ah, I'll get a photo of that. I'll put it on me, uh, on me map. So, what you can do, it, what the app you've got, just go into there, take a photo, allow. I'll we'll do a GPS, too. That's cool. Use that photo. Yep. And that will stay in where I tracked. Ah, oh, the, the old fingers, you know. With the gloves. You can get gloves with a little, um... What's his name on? A little fingertip so you can use your thing. But it seems to work okay every now and then. But, yeah, that's cool. Alright. We'll get back on the road. I'll get a photo just with my normal camera because then later on I can edit it a little bit better. That's cool. I like that. Alright. Oh. And go back. There we go. Sometimes a bit tricky. There we go. Alright, back on the road. So even if you're given this map to your mate, you can use that photo, you know, remember you go left past that old hut there, just gives you a little bit more um, confidence you, you're going in the right direction, so yeah, alright, let's keep going. Yeah, so this is a, an actual track, so just following a fence line. Um, it looks like it's been used, I guess. It's been slashed, so this is what it's all about. Just hope there's no big creek crossings like the one I'm coming up to. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's alright. Nothing but. Oh, shit! Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, yeah? Hmm. It says to keep going. Keep going this way. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. I've got a feeling. Just keep following that track. Yeah. Oh well, I guess that was a shortcut. <laughs> this is the spot. Yeah, nice. Kuralee National Park. Yeah, this is cool. Go check it out. So you got toilets over there. And you got like you got all your own little spots here, it's cool. Very nice. And that's the creek running down the back there. Yeah, awesome. Oh, the falls are up here. All right. Time, guys. So this is three thirty. Just got here. Just taking off the gear, trying to cool down because it's bloody hot here for winter at the moment. So I am over in the border. Um, probably say about an hour. Stands off, I guess. So that's where we're going to head off tomorrow morning then. Yeah, this is top spot. There's only two more people here. Um, pretty much got it all to myself. So, dinner tonight. It's probably one room. Got a few little snacks, but got a piece of steak in here, a bit of ribeye that I froze last night. So, put in the thermo cover and the knee frame saw the thermo cover, which worked really well. And it's also got some salami and I've got some little bickies and it's my snack now. So I put them in a silicon, excuse me, a silicon uh, little bag and it just stops any juices from going anywhere. So it's a freaking great idea. I think I got it at Spotlight, I think, when I seen it. But look, how cool is that? So no juices go through your bag and it's defrosted now, so it's still nice and cold, but we'll put it back in there. And that will be for dinner tonight. And then I've just got just a bit of steak, so a little bit of protein. And then I think I've got some chicken marsala in one of them uh, dry bags, I think. What else have we got in here? And then I've got, oh, Chicken and veggie soup. So you just heat that up in the jet pilot. Yeah, I've got more food in the back there, so yeah look, I might even go to the pub tomorrow night, who knows? Who knows where we'll end up? It's all part of the adventure. Alright, I'm gonna get everything set up, I'm gonna have something to eat, get set up, I'll put the tent up, and I'll get the fire going.
think I did. I think I did. I think I brought a chopping board. <laughs> uh, the things I think of, and yeah, I thought I better take that. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? It's so quiet out here. You can hear the bellbirds. This is all nice and cold and slimy still cold, so freezing it just makes a huge difference. And then in that thermo cover that Holly got me, it's, it's primo. Bottoms up. in the back country a few times. This is probably, I don't know, 12 months old now. Where's an expiry day? Hmm, I don't know. I'll just see how it goes. We must, oh, yeah, here we go. 23rd of June 2025. She's still good. Did that crack tonight. Let's see how it goes. There's no mosquitoes here. I did bring some repellent. Like I'll show you my kit if you want. What I carry, but there's about a thousand YouTubers out there that do all that shit. Everyone's different. Each their own. Okay. It's my first aid kit in. I think everything takes up room, so. You minimise everything because the more weight you have on that bike, it's the harder to ride. I think she's at with all the gear on it in the bag, she'd be at like 230. Maybe with a five litre bladder, that's what another five, five k's, kilos, five litres. So, yeah, you're pushing up down a full tank of fuel. So, yeah. 235 easy but just such a great bike very well balanced I love to ride the world raid apparently they're all centered the fuel tanks a lot lower but I don't know all right I'm gonna finish this off I'll get this tent on Gonna have a bit of steak tonight because um, that's all I really feel like. I'm not that hungry actually. But yeah, cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. I actually got this ribeye. There's a cryback from the AGI just down the road from us. Um, like 17 bucks a kilo. Bloody cheap. It's bloody good too. All that less washing up. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. All right. I'll see if I can film the stars tonight. Do a bit of a time lapse on it. Anyway, I'm going to have dinner. Have a cup of tea. Watch a fire and then go to bed and we'll get back into it tomorrow. All right. See you in the morning. Bye, Ruth. Hey, morning legends. All right, so I'm just making a cup of coffee, as you can see. Um, I've just packed all my gear up. I'll give you, I, I said I was gonna tell you what I usually carry, like, like I said, everyone's different, but it's pretty easy. So I just got a chair, a hammer for me tent. Um, that's the, the air pump and a set of matches and just some bits and pieces. That's me feather down um, jacket. So I can use that as a pillow as well. Uh, so it does two things little sleeping bag I think it's like only five degrees that one um, I've got a sheet liner for the airbed that's awesome that airbed so comfy um, this is a liner that goes in the sleeping bag so that will drop it another five degrees so that's that's awesome to have especially if you want to pack light uh, another pillow that's all my kit with all my bits and pieces just food and nibblies and toothbrush and stuff like that uh, the two-man tent which is really only a one-man tent uh, cooking utensils there battery pack uh, the jet boiler which is making me cuppa two GoPros which one I'm using and that one there a head torch um, yeah and just be riding gear and that's it and on the bike like I said oh another tip too guys when you're out camping especially in winter just throw a black plastic bag over your seat so you don't get a wet bum when you get going in the morning. Just a little tip there. And then basically on the bike, like I said, just two penny of bags. Um, the fuel sack, which I've already used, filled everything up. And my spare tube. That's it. All right, I'm going to have a cuppa. I'm going to pack all this up and then um, we'll get over the stand thorpe. We'll go for a ride. See so on the track. Hooroo. That was a very nice little camp spot. It was very comfortable, it wasn't even cold. I reckon it probably got down to about, I don't know, eight degrees. But yeah, no, it was good, all right. Let's go check some tracks out. I'm gonna backtrack here. I, right here last night to make a phone call so you can get reception about 10 clicks up the road I just checked in with the wifey but I'm not gonna go that way I'm gonna backtrack and go along another trail so yeah it's worth it I think because I haven't been there so I, I went that way it was yeah it was nice but it's always good looking for a new adventure Um, your first water crossing. It does get pretty deep through here. 
Yeah, right. That was probably a good 300 mil. Yeah, that's cool. So, word of warning if it rains through here, you don't come. <laughs> that's a water crossing <laughs> with a view. <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, let's go and drown it. Shit, she's deep. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> what a cool retreat. How good would that be? It's been used for a while. Nasty that. Alright, rule is guys, you find the gate closed, you make sure it's closed. As everyone knows. Oh shh. And make sure you stand your bike up properly. Pretty cool track out here, eh? Um, didn't really expect it, but yeah, it's it's awesome. It's a little rutted out, but if you guys are competent riders, you can easily do it. And I'm, like I said, I got a lot of weight on, and she does it beautiful. Geez, that bacon egg roll I had this morning, it was good. It was really good. The thing is, you can find plenty of spots to have a feed. There's plenty of public toilets on these trips. Heaps of food if you need it. But I just take the bare minimal. That's it. I just check my packs. Make sure they're all still tight. All that rocking and rolling. There you go, there's one loose. Cool, cool. Good to go. How much mud did I get? Oh, not much. Buddy, yeah. so you're doing a bit of clearing. Oh, yeah, no. keeps you in a job, eh? No. Keeps you in a job. No. Ah. No. Beautiful spot. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the track's pristine, eh? Like it's clean, it's nice. All the logs are all off. Good job, mate. Have fun. All right, buddy. I 
of the gates because this is pretty much all your rabbit proofing on the border comes through those national parks so yeah that's cool heading to Stanthorpe now I reckon I might even get tenner filled in today yeah see how we go and then make a bit of a long long ride back but I don't know just see how we go Jeez, I'm over the gates. There's a bloody few of them. Whoop. Oh. oh shit, get out of it, I'm glad there's not a gate up here, <laughs> you bloody eat me. Back to civilization. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I love the DK roads here. They're so awesome, <laughs> nice and slippery. Ah, where are we go straight. Yeah. There we go. A bit of black top. Wally's Creek, yeah. Ah, oh, no, the other way. Yeah. It is too. I do get lost. Alrighty guys, so just coming to the stand for. Um, shit, made really good time. So, I'm gonna, there's a track I want to check out. It actually loops back, heading back home. Instead of going to Tenerfield, they're down to the Rocky Creek Road. I might divert and come back at another time and do that track because yeah this way it would be just a lot easier for me to loop back up to get back home because I've still got another good shit five hours of riding to do uh, anyway well not a doubt I'll go and get some fuel up here and just top up and then um, I'll work out where I'm gonna go but yeah it's, it's Stanthorpe now second day in it's just about about I think lunchtime so it's been awesome riding today, like found some cool tracks um, through the national parks, but they're definitely coming back down here again. The tracks are awesome, uh, conditions are good, it's, it's bloody still hot again. It's crazy, there's like a heat wave coming through at the moment. It's saying like 30 degrees tomorrow, so again, I don't want to be sort of riding that heat, and I'm limited with water, I guess. I didn't think about bringing too much, I've only just got my backpack on. Uh, with me, me camel back, but yeah, 
Anyway, I'll see what, what happens up here. I'll get the servo, I'll check out what we're going to do, and then we'll see where we go from there. Anyway, welcome to Stanthorpe. It's a beautiful little place. Very nice. Never been here before. I've heard it gets bloody cold in winter, and we are in winter. <laughs> All right, peeps, so what we're going to do, we're going to check out the track. So we just were in Stanthorpe, I just topped up, and we're going to do this loop here, going through, uh, where's it go through? Out towards Warwick, so I'm going to take this track out through here. Looks pretty cool, it's a big loop. Um, and then that will take me all the way back in the Ipswich, so that's a good 200, 200k ride. So I'm going to crack into that. Um, I'm going to leave this track for another date. That's outside Stanthorpe. And then that will take me back down to... Uh, where is it? We've got, we got Tenerfield there. So I'm going to do that on another trip. So at least I can do this trip now, and then I know it. And I say I've done it. And then when I come back down here next time, I know all the cool tracks to come back down to Tenerfield because it's definitely a spot I'm coming back to. So I'm going to do a round trip now and try and even get back home tonight. It'll be a late one, but at least if I'm here, I'm going to do that leg all the way up, get back in through Warwick, and then back to Ipswich. So, all right, let's do it. I'm going to give it a crack. Like I said, the temps are up today. Um, and look, at the end of the day, it's only going to get hotter from tomorrow onwards, so thinking about the conditions, and I want to save a little bit of this route for another day. Anyway, it's been a good little trip. Let's get back on the road. Let's do it. Uh, setting myself up. I'll get back on the highway a little bit on the blacktop, and then we'll get on to some dirt. All right.
can't believe how hot it is. It's like 34. Yeah, 34 degrees. I had to strip down and put this on so I didn't get burnt. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the adventure. So I'm just going to hightail it back to Brizzy. Get back home. Sleep in my comfy bed tonight. And um, yeah, I'll leave the maps, the GPX files on on the, uh, the the link below. So if you want to check it out, even if you tag me somewhere, I'll um, take you on the ride. And the next time I do it, you want to come along. I don't think these things make a bigger tank because they're more the more weight they have. Anyway, like, subscribe, do all that cool shit. Really helps me channel out. See you on the next one. Bye, bye.